Minutes. You will pass. Yeah, the speaker. Yes. The speaker, I want to tell, I want through you, I want to ask the nominee. And I looked at him very, very keenly, the speaker, very seriously. The speaker, the question that's worrying me is that the biggest problem in this country in terms of uh, when we approve people here and in terms of governance is the Ministry of Agriculture. There have been problems from the last uh, five, seven years I was in Parliament, from the previous ministers to the one that we approved here who are 30 cases, plus now the PhD holder who has arrived here. Mr. Speaker, I want this nominee just to prove to this committee how he's going to deal with these cartels and this corruption in agriculture. Because if we were to describe corruption in government in form of a home, the bedroom of corruption in government is Ministry of Agriculture. The rest are sitting rooms, seven quarters, and other small places. And you know, Mr. Speaker, having a PhD and dealing with corruption, uh, having a PhD and dealing with corruption are two different things. So now that's one thing I want him to, to, to illustrate even physical if he can how he's going to deal <laughs> how he's going to deal with with, cor with corrupt people in that place but more importantly mr speaker how is he going also because fertilizer is one of the biggest problems when it comes to corruption also how are you going to work with the industries locally here to develop a fertilizer manufacturing program within the country here so that this issue of importation of fertilizer can, can end so if you can prove those two things, for me, I'll be satisfied. Because I know after one year, you'll be walking jobless in the street, I can assure you. <laughs> I can tell you. OK, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And thank you, Honorable Unet, for your questions. Uh, I know dealing with cartels is a, is a big issue. And they, 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 many, they, they are many formats and very, very many forms. But if I am approved by this house and this committee, I'm saying I'm giving a notice on cartels. Mm -hmm. Notice that they will be out of business. Yes. In the fact that uh, my background is that, and one of the, the principles which I hold very dear is integrity. Not to be compromised. And the other, the other, the other, the other principle I hold very dear is having the countries and the farmers' interest at first. So I will deal with them. We will do whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will do whatever it takes, Mr. Speaker, to, to, to deal with them, S putting systems in place, as I was saying, governance structures, making sure that uh, I involve all the agencies of the government. I'm sure the government of Kenya is capable of and have agencies which can deal with these cartels, and I will be in the forefront for that. Nelson? On the, on, the, Sorry. Sir, on the development of the fertilizer, uh, it's, it's, a good, it's, a good, it's a good one because we need to develop the, the local industry. What is happening to today is that most of, it, most, of the, what we have, most of the manufacturers we have are for blading. They are not for manufacturing of fertilizer. And it will be good to explore further whether they can, apart from blading, which is important, because we need to bled for coffee, we need to bled for tea, we need to bled for various crops. We need also to go a step further and do the manufacturing of the fertilizer. So if I'm approved, this is one of the agenda I would like to pursue. Nelson Kreutz. Thank you, Speaker. Dr. Chari, there is a, a crisis in the tea sector. Tea prices at the Mombasa auction were on a downward trend in 2022 forcing the government to establish a minimum reserve price of 2.6 uh, USD for teas from the east of the rift and USD 2.4 for teas from the west of the rift. This initiative was aimed to stabilizing the market and addressing the declining tea prices at the Mombasa auction. However, the current pricing structure has resulted in several uh, millions of teas being unsold, thus resulting in stagnating uh, and warehouses and, and facilities. What strategies will you employ to alleviate this situation? 
Additionally, is the government interference in, 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 in the manner necessary in a free market, and how can it be balanced to ensure that market stability without causing an adverse uh, effect? Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, Honorable Nelson Koech. Yes, this, I am, I'm seized by this, uh, this, this issue about uh, the minimum price which has been set of 2.65 US dollars and 2.4 and that unattended uh, what I would call effects which is the piling up of the tea in the warehouses in Mombasa. This is a serious issue because it affects uh, the incomes of our farmers, of tea farmers and the intention was good but I think uh, going forward we have to review that policy. It has to be reviewed with all the facts on the table, I would take the charge when if approved that if necessary we, we don't have to create this uh, price setting. We have to say let it go so that it is a free market, but it, it needs to be carefree, cautiously done so that it doesn't uh, impact negatively on the incomes of our farmers. So I would review that policy of the pricing, whether we need a, 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 a market uh, driven or a setting price in the industry sector. Thank you. Posting. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Speaker. And uh, uh, at least 